<laughs> I tell you, I don't want to go to no prayer meeting. Julie, you gave your marker, and if you welch, you will cause me no little embarrassment. And I'm sure you do not wish to cause me embarrassment. But if it ever gets back to Chicago that I went to a prayer meeting, no decent person will talk to me. <laughs> Adelaide! Oh, what a coincidence! Adelaide, you nicely explained to you about tonight. I hope you ain't sore or anything. Please, let us not have a vulgar scene. After all, we are civilized people. We do not need to conduct ourselves like a slob. Adelaide, what is this? You are my doll. Your doll? Please, if that word's so amusing, one could laugh at it. Emily, sweetheart, baby, how do you carry on like this over one lousy elopement? <laughs> Emily, please. It's no use, Nancy. I have succeeded in your not being able to upset me no more. I have gotten you completely out of my head. <laughs> We'll get married. We'll have a home. A nice white house with a green fence. Just like the Whitney Palace. It's like a two second thing. God, I'll do it soon. I got another letter from my mother today asking a lot of questions. And she put in a letter for you, too. A letter from your mother? For me? Well. A dear son, Nathan, this is my first letter to you, although you have now been married to my daughter for 12 years. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel like I know you from Adelaide's letters, and in my mind's eye, I can see you as you go down to work every morning at 7. What a responsibility it must be to be the assistant manager of an a and &E. I'm not even the manager. I was going to promote you for Christmas. <laughs> I know how hard you have to work to take care of your family, Adelaide, and the five children, and the one that's on the way! <laughs> Mother wanted me to visit her, so I had to tell her that. Don't you know I can't raise six kids on what they pay me at the A and P? <laughs> I'm very proud to have you as a son-in-law. You are a good man, and I know you will always take care of that. I feel like a heel. Daisy, darling, we can still make everything all right. Look, it's not even midnight yet. Five minutes to twelve. Let's a little right now. Okay, Adelaide. No, I can't. Why not? Come on, Nathan, we're gonna be late. Come on! Nathan, why can't we elope now? Because, uh, well... I gotta go to a prayer meeting. <gasps> Nathan! This is the biggest lie you ever told me! I promise you it's true! You promise me this, you promise me that. Promise me everything under the sun. Give me a kiss in your crown and your hat and your arms and your races and get what do you think of the time? So call a policeman. All right, already. 
it's true, so new, so soon, soon, what?